okay guys in this section i will cover the action portion of this tutorial if you are new to actions actions are basically saving your steps and reuse them automatically by computer so whatever the step you make you can save as an action then make the computer reuse again and again so that's a simple explanation for action to get the action go to windows and click on action palette in here which will open up the action palette in our case we need to create an action where we will automate the process of saving these files one by one instead of going through one by one from here and saving it individually what i'm going to do is i'm going to save one file and i'm going to use that steps and make illustrator to do the rest to create an action go to action bar click on new here you can name your action so i'm going to name as save dynamic data and start recording click on the record button and you will see in here the record button is on in here below so now i'm going to save the action go and save save as you can save anywhere you want so i'm going to save in a new folder and i will rename this folder as all cards and uh, i will create one more layer and save as ai and just save it and illustrator basic settings will do okay right so once we save we can stop the action from this button in here now if you see our action is already saved okay so now we are going to automate this process for all of these cards in here before i start saving as you guys can see in here these actions which we are created are categorized into categories so by now by default there is a default action and also there is a group called chassis so my new action which i created is under this group so you can create your own groups or you can use your existing group to create the action so you need to aware of the group before we proceed with the next step now to save the file automatically go to the hamburger button in the action palette in here click on this button and click on the batch the last option in here which will open up the batch dialog box now as you can see in here it, the first one is set which is the set which is the category so we have to choose the category sassy which is correct then the action save the dynamic data which is correct and below you will see the source so source is not from a folder so we need to select the source if from folder to data set which is the set on top so once you select the data set you see this below part is changing now we go below on the left you will see in here override options for saving if you choose to change the designation folder different from the action settings you can override the command from here and in the other side you will have file names so when you want to save the file you can create how the file name should be the first one is file plus number so it will add a file name plus a number and the second one is file plus data set name which is the data set name you see in our variables so the normally in our case it's going to save as the file name plus the data set one two three and the third one is just data set so we will just stick to just data set so i will select the data set in here also for this tutorial i'm going to override the folder so i will choose a folder that i will choose a different folder from here you can have any place you can choose any place you want so i will just randomly choosing a folder maybe i will choose the same folder and select the folder and say okay as you guys can see here illustrator is already saved all of our four files so let's go back to the if you go back to the exact place you will see all of these four files are saved data set one two three let's open number five which is the sarah let's open number one which is the john and number two is chain 
so all of our files are saved individually and we have saved lot of time by doing this this is just for five cards imagine if you have hundreds of people working in your company how much time you can save and you can also use this process to some other examples as well for an example let's say suddenly your printer want your name cards file to be in a different format maybe you saved all your files in ai format and some suddenly your printer guys want it in pdf format again you have to do it one by one if you don't use the action so i will show you one more example in the same scenario if someone asks for different file types such as pdf how can we save these file into pdfs as well please keep in mind guys we are not going to save these data set as pdf which we can do also but you already know how to save this data set in a batch i'm not going to redo that again in this tutorial this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to open and save illustrator files into pdf so this is useful if you want to convert to different format we will have both files so let's say if you have 100 files you want to convert and save as a pdf format this process will be useful this is just a purely uh, action process, nothing to do with data set. So this is what I'm going to show you guys in this part of the tutorial. As you can see in here, guys, I already have a action called save as PDF, but I will create one more anyway. So let's minus of this one. All right. So let's create a new action from here. I'm going to name this as save PDF number two and start recording. Right again, I will go and open a file, open this AI file. One of these file will do and I will start recording save as this time I'm going to select PDF. You can choose any folder you want. Just save it and save PDF. You can configure the settings from here and just save PDF. All right. So our action is completed let's close it now what i'm going to do is let's go batch again this time i'm going to choose pdf but this time i'm going to choose the folder this folder is for the source file destination so wherever your ai files are saved you need to choose from this one if you remember earlier we choose the data set because the data set is inside the variables but this is little bit more different this time we go and choose the source files which are the ai files which we have created using our previous action illustrator has already chosen the correct path because we yeah, we were using this path earlier so we just select this one this is the path where we saved all the ai files earlier so i'm just going to select this folder here and here again same thing as earlier we are going to select the destination for the new files which are the pdf files so we need to choose a folder for to save all these pdfs so let's select the folder from here and again here you can see illustrator has chosen the correct folder we need to save all these pdf files into this pdf folder because i have choose this one earlier also it has automatically chosen this folder which is fine so i'm just going to select this one all right so once we select ok illustrator will automatically open up all the ai files into illustrator and it will save as pdf file so let's do it now okay so as you guys can see here on the screen it's opening up each files and running the action and closing it and saving it as a pdf file okay so all done we only had five folders let's go one by one you can see all the files here are open and if you go into pdf you will see all the pdf inside in here let's open up you see the pdf for john and all others as well okay cool but as you guys can see in here it has opened all our ai file but it didn't close the file it's because we did not have the close function in our 
record but this is a very big mistake i purposely done this one to explain it to you guys let's say if you have 100 files if you do the same action if you run the action illustrator will open 100 ai files save as pdf but it will keep the ai file in your artboard which will eventually crash your illustrator so we need to avoid this part to avoid this part is really really easy now i will show you guys how to avoid that error so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close all of these first then we can continue all right now and again go back and open one of these pdf files which we have created so i'm going to open data set number one okay once you open the file go back to the action and start recording again once you save an action you can always go back and edit the action and you can add in new steps like this but make sure to select the last step from your saved action so that newer steps will be after the last step all we need to do now is just go to the file and close this file which will record a new step in here as close file once this step is recorded we can go back and stop this recording from the actions so now all we need to do is run again and see whether this action is working properly or not before i run the action i want to explain one more thing in here guys as you guys can see in here there is an additional palette window palette kind of icon in here these are for changing parameters of automated files the mean let's say if you are saving pdf files like earlier but you want to configure each and every file manually for some reason you want to change the format or other additional settings in the setting window if you, you just use the action it will always save the same configuration as the sample file which we have feed into the action but if you click on this panel every time it will run the action but before it save it will ask you the parameter so you can manually feed in the data and save the file so let's click this one and run our new action which we have modified okay in the batch setting everything is going to be same as earlier so i'm just going to select and say okay so now we okay now you guys see because we click on this one it's asking us the parameters before it say we just need to select this option and you can maybe change this and save pdf now it has saved and also it it has closed the file and again same thing so it will ask for five times because there are five data files i'll just select and save again it closed the file so everything is working properly and one more file just save and la yeah last one is this one just save you can just select and save or maybe i cancel this one all right guys so all the files are saved properly and also it has co closed all the ai file which open with the action all right guys so i think that's all about action in this tutorial i think i have pretty much cover most part of the action with this tutorial so in the next tutorial uh, the next part of this tutorial what i will do is i will dive in deeper into variables and let's see how to show and hide using visibility with a csv uh, database file all right guys so let's see you guys in the next uh, video